I was speaking to someone and I continue to hear a particular trend with the people that I speak to or message about God. When I tell people to stop looking at movies and television shows that has nothing to do with God, stop listening to music that has nothing to do with God, stop going around and hanging around people that don't want to serve God. When I tell people this, I continue to hear a particular trend in the way that they respond. They say, in so many words, they say, isn't that being a bit extreme? Okay. How long have you been trying to live for God? For quite a while, perhaps. Have it been working for you? So how long have you been down that route, trying to live for God, continuing to do the same things that you are doing now? How long have you been doing that? For quite a while. So if going down that route continues to not lead you where you want to be, why are you going to continue down that route? So can't you say that is extreme? To continue to go down a route knowing that it is not going to work. <laughs> but hey, this is my hundredth time going down this path, but perhaps it is going to lead me down the right path if I go down it the 100th time. Can't you say that is extreme? To continue to do something that you know that is not going to work, but you go down it anyways, believing that this time it is going to work for you. My Lord. And then I continue to hear this as well. Kevin, if I do what you say, I am not going to have a life. <laughs> Why did God make you? Did God make you to watch TV shows and movies that goes against his rules and regulations that is going to influence you to disobey him? Did God make you for those things? Did God make you to listen to all of these curse words and music and speaking about sexual things, perversion and stuff like that? Did God make you to listen to music that has nothing to do with him? No. Did God make you to go around, hang out with friends that smoke weed, that get drunk, or who has sex with whomever, just have sex with multiple men and women, and say to you, girl or guy, there is no point in getting married because you won't be able to have sex who you want to have sex with. Did God make you to hang around with loose women and men? Why did God make you? God made you 
for his pleasure, right? Yes. God made you to honor and praise him. So when you say that you are not going to have a life, what is life? Is life, is life to you disobeying God? Doing things that goes against God? If that is life, that is crazy. What life is, is giving glory and honor to God. That is life. So when you say that you won't have a life, yes, you are not going to have a sinful life if you follow what I ask. How is it life going to clubs and bars, drinking and grinding upon people, looking at movies and TV shows that are extremely sinful, how is that life? How is it life working every day, doing the same thing just about every day, going home, eating, not praying, not reading your Bible, not doing anything that is going to get you closer to God, closer to God, how is that life? You are trying to build a life on a temporary world, a world that is going to fade away soon. How is that life? Not focusing on the things of God, not worrying about if you are going to hell or heaven, not preparing yourself to go to heaven, not ministering to people about God and trying to help them to get close to God, but you believe that living your own life, going to work each day, having really nothing to do with God, oh, you, you may go to church. <laughs> but really having nothing to do with God, you believe that is life? Working every day, saving your money, not observing the things of God, how is that life? I'm serious. What you are doing is not going to last long. Well, Kevin, I was taught to save my money, to save up, work hard while I am young, and when I am old, easy times. But... How was that life? If we were made to honor and praise God, but you are doing the opposite, how was that life? Think about that. So when I tell you how to get right with God, and it may sound extreme to you because there aren't too many people who are actually close to God. I don't care if they are your pastor or a deacon or a bishop and stuff like that. Position matters not. It don't matter. One thing I learned about God the more you seek God, the more you sacrifice for God, the closer you are going to get to God. Many people may know how to read the Bible and teach from it, but it is not in here. They can teach it, but it is not in them. How can you teach something that you aren't doing? Many people do that. Listen, 
what I say may sound extreme because you are in darkness. Once you get out of darkness and into the light, you are going to see, wow, Kevin, I can see now. I can see why you were saying not to do this, not to do that, so on and so on. You are not used to this type of life. Look, as I stated before, you have been doing things in your own way for this long. Has it worked for you? So why even say anything when I am telling you what works? If you knew what works, would you go around asking people how to change? No. So obviously you don't know what works. So when I am telling you what works, how about try it first, then tell me, hey, Kev, what you are saying does not work. But you can't say it does not work because you don't like the idea of separating yourself from these sinful things. My Lord, how about try it? Then say to me, it does not work but you are not willing to try it because you love the darkness. That is your problem. You love the darkness. Yes. My Lord. So I pray that this makes sense. You need to detach yourself from the darkness. That is the only way. You have a hold on to darkness because you are still in sin. You need to get rid of those demons within you. Ah, oh, my Lord. I pray that this makes sense. And, you know, I am not trying to make anyone mad. I don't know how to beat around the bush. You know how some teachers or preachers they beat around the bush and tell you what to do, but say it in a way where I guess you can't get mad at or something like that. I don't know how to speak in that way because I will confuse myself if I try to beat around the bush. <laughs> I tried it before. And some people really get mad at me for speaking in the way that I speak in a very direct way. Many people don't like that. But hey, <laughs> I want you to go to heaven, man. I want you to go to heaven. So if me speaking this way makes you mad, hey, what can I do? What can I say? So I pray that all of this makes sense. God bless.